This lesson will show how to create a stem and leaf plot. The stem and leaf plot or stem plot is a way to graph data and gives a visualization of the distribution. It will show an overall pattern of the data and any outliers. An outlier is a data value that does not fit the rest of the data. An outlier is sometimes called an extreme value. To begin, we create a table as shown here on the right where we have the stems on the left and the leaves on the right. Sometimes, instead of a table, you will just see a vertical bar separating the stems and the leaves. Step two, we determine the stems and leaves from the data. The leaves are the rightmost digit of each number. So going down to the data, for three, four, four, and eight, three, four, four, and eight are the leaves. Because we have a single digit, these digits are considered on the right. For 19, nine is a leaf. For the numbers in the 20s, we have leaves of two, five, and seven. For the numbers in the 30s, we have leaves of two and eight. For the numbers in the 40s, we have leaves of two and five. For the 60s, we have leaves of zero, one, five, and five. For the 70s, we have leaves of zero, eight, and nine. For the 80s, we have leaves of zero, one, and seven. For the 90s, we have leaves of three and nine. And for 100, we have a leaf of zero. Again, the rightmost digit of each number is the leaf. The stems are all the digits to the left of each leaf. So for three, four, four, and eight, because there is no number to the left, the stem is zero. For 19, the stem is one. For the 20s, the stem is two. For the 30s, the stem is three. For the 40s, the stem is four. Notice there are no 50s, but we are still going to include a stem of five in the stem and leaf plot. For the numbers in the 60s, the stem is six. For the numbers in the 70s, the stem is seven. For the numbers in the 80s, the stem is eight. And for the numbers in the 90s, the stem is nine. And for 100, the stem is 10. Step three, we now record the stems on the left in the two column table, and we include missing stems. So again, the first stem is zero. And then we have a stem of one all the way through a stem of 10. So the stems are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step four, we record the leaves to the right in the table. So for the stem of zero, the leaves are three, four, four, and eight, which we record in the leaf column. For the stem of one, the leaf is nine for the number 19. And we do want to line up the leaves vertically. For the stem of two, we have leaves of two, five, and seven. For a stem of three, we have leaves of two and eight. For the stem of four, we have leaves of two and five. We don't have any numbers in the 50s, and therefore we do not record a leaf for the stem of five. For the stem of six, we have leaves of zero, one, five, and five, and we do record five twice. Each data value must have a leaf. For the stem of seven, we have leaves of zero, eight, and nine. And for the stem of eight, we have leaves of zero, one, and seven. For the stem of nine, we have leaves of three and nine. And for the stem of 10, we have a leaf of zero. So here we have our completed stem and leaf plot. But there is one more thing we should include. We should include a key because if the data isn't given, we do have to know what data values the stem and leaf plot represent. So for example, we should say something like, if we have the number 57, this is equal to a stem of five and a leaf of seven. With this key, 
someone can now interpret all the data from the given stem and leaf plot. I hope you found this helpful.